I'm April Plank and thanks for joining me. I'm with my favorite piece of equipment, the Reformer, and one of my favorite props, the Pilates Arc, and another prop, the Magic Circle. Maybe not my favorite, but another prop I like to use. If you do not have the Arc, then I'll give you some modifications, but today's class is going to be pretty much the Arc for the majority of the class. So we're going to start on two red, those are two heavy springs, and we're going to start with the arc on. So to put the arc on, you want to make sure the headrest is down. You want to take your straps off of the pegs, and then you're going to put the arc so that it fits snugly between the pegs and the shoulder blocks. We're going to lay down, grab your ring, and we'll get started. So we're going to be on the arc, feet on the gray surface. If you don't have the arc, you're just going to be sitting um, with your feet on the gray surface. You're going to reach your arms out in front of you, shoulders down your back. Take a nice big inhale to repair, and then we're going to exhale, tuck your tailbone, scoop your abs, and just roll back a few vertebrae onto that arc. Exhale, roll your spine up off the arc one vertebrae at a time, and sit up tall. And we'll just continue that motion. So the arc is going to support your back so that when you're laying back, you're coming, you're coming back into the arc one vertebrae at a time. And then when you come up, you're coming off the arc one vertebrae at a time. Good. So just laying yourself back. We're not going too far. Maybe I'm going like right to my brawl line to begin with. Just starting to add some movement through the middle of my spine. We'll do that two more times. Good. And then the next time you're back, let's hold it. So take it back and hold it. Bend your elbows so the arms are bent, the rings right at your sternum. And we're going to rotate towards the right and back to the center. Rotate to the left and back to the center. You're putting just a little pressure on that ring just to activate through the abdominals a little and through the arms a little bit, but not a death grip into the ring. And you're doing a little twist. It's not a huge motion. It's just a rotation of the rib cage to the right and a rotation of the rib cage to the left. We'll do four more, just a little rotation and rotation. Now, if you don't have the arc and you're just doing this, you probably won't be as far back. You might um, be a little higher. You're just kind of doing a side to side twist without the back support. Go to the center, roll yourself all the way up, reach the arms long. Now take the ring between your knees, squeeze it so it's more of an oval than a circle, reach the arms forward. Now we're gonna go a little farther over the arc, so I want you to roll yourself back. Go as far as comfortable. For me, I can reach all the way back. I'm gonna reach the arms all the way long over my ears, circle the arms around, and roll yourself all the way up. Now as far as you go back, the, or the, the length that you go back is really gonna be determined by the flexibility in your spine. So for some of you, you may not feel like going way back is gonna feel comfortable. And if that's you, then do not go back to where it does not feel comfortable. So if you don't have a lot of um, extension in your spine, it's not gonna feel that great to go all the way back and over the arc. So just go as far back as you can, reach the arms over the head and then do a big circle. It doesn't have to be a big extension through the back. Every time you come in and up, you're squeezing that ring. Every time you go back, you're taking a big breath in. Exhale, squeeze in the ring. Inhale, going back and reaching. And exhale, coming up and squeeze. Let's do one more time. And then when you come back up, you're gonna pause for a moment. Now just your right arm's gonna reach long and you're gonna lean back, look over and reach the right arm long. Bring it back with a big squeeze of the ring. On the left, you're gonna reach the left arm long, look, lengthen, listen, and pull it back in. So I say look, lengthen, and listen, listen, because you're thinking about looking over that arm that's reaching, you're lengthening the arm, and you're listening with the ear, so the head goes back with you. So you reach and extend and lengthen, squeeze and pull it back in. Reach and extend and lengthen, and pull it back in. One more to each side. I don't know about you, but my inner thighs are definitely working. Hopefully you're feeling that as well. Last one to go. And then come to the center. Good. Roll back slightly. Release the ring. Thank goodness. Now I'm going to bring my heels up to the bar. Now at this point you don't have the arc. You're going to lay on your back. 
take that ring so one of the pads is behind your head at the very not the base of the spine um, but at the base of the head so like at the back of the head and then the other pads in your hands now you're going to lay over the arc as much as comfortable for you holding yourself into the carriage remember we're on two heavy springs take an inhale and then as you exhale you're going to push your feet into the bar lengthen your legs and do a little crunch up and then bring it back and over the arc so big x tells you lift inhale as you lower and i want you to think more about lifting up into the crunch versus crunching forward so you don't want to go so far forward that you're looking towards the belly and you're rounding and pushing on the neck that's too far you're going to go straight up and you're going to notice if you go straight up it's going to be a lot more challenging especially on those upper abdominals so it's just a lift straight up and lower back down lift and reach up and then back down big exhale as you lift inhale as you lower let's go four more doubles and we're going to add a little bit of oblique work in a moment and three and two do one more and hold it so you're going to be holding it up you're going to rotate towards the right and back and then lower it all the way down come up and rotate right and back and lower back down so you'll come up think of rotating looking reaching over that right elbow and then back and down here's four up and rotate and back and down last three and down two more on this side and here's your last one coming up keeping the elbows wide as you rotate back let's go to the other side so this time i want you to come up rotate left center and down you want to keep those elbows wide the entire time so it's a very small movement some of my favorite movements in pilates are when there is not a lot happening on the outside but a lot is happening on the inside so it's a tiny motion you're working with control and precision go up back and down you've got three and two one more here really good job release you can let the ring go now if you can lay over the arc and it feels good do so if that does not feel good another option would be to bring your hips farther up onto the top of that little lip and then you might be able to lay back so if your back isn't as flexible as the arc or doesn't have that same arch then move the hips to the top and then you can lay back so any kind of um, extension whatever feels good you can stay here for a moment you can let the arms go out to the sides or over your head just giving that chest a little stretch and those abs a little stretch that is all we're doing with the ring so the ring we are done with for now actually forever for today but we'll still use the arc so when you're ready you're going to roll yourself up i'm just going to set my ring to the side and then i'm going to take my whole body and turn it to the right so now i'm going to be laying on my right side and then i'm going to have my left laying my top foot on the arc or excuse me on the foot bar and i'm going to push the carriage all the way out and back in now a few options when you're laying over the arc first off make sure your form is good you've got your hips stacked one on top of the other you've got your shoulders stacked one on top of the other and when you push out you've got that straight line from the foot now i like to kind of lay uh, over the arc and support my head with my hand you might feel more comfortable laying all the way down you might feel more comfortable coming up on the elbow so whichever feels best for you i'm going to come to this position in a minute for something else so i'm going to go back down and just let the arc support my spine pressing out exhaling in we've got three and two do one more and then come halfway in and hold it so give me little tiny pulses one inch out one inch in for seven six
Good, one more and then take it out and hold it. Lift your heel of the foot that's on the foot bar, the left foot, so the heel's lifted, and now bend the knee and push it back out. So you're bending and pushing. So working a little different angle through the leg here. So keep your heel lifted as high as you can in space and that nice big releve. Always focusing on hugging all those muscles of the legs into the bone. So you wanna really work strong through the legs, contracting and engaging. Last two. We're gonna do another round of those pulses. So come all the way half, halfway in and give me little tiny pulses, keeping that heel lifted, squeezing the glutes, the hamstrings, the quadriceps, nice strong legs. Give me four, three, two, and one. Take it out and hold it. Put your heel back down, turn your toes to the ceiling. This time when you bend the knee, it'll go up to the ceiling and you'll push back. Still focus on keeping your hips as square as you can. So you're not allowing that left hip to rotate open too much. Whatever breath feels appropriate for you, I'm kind of switching my breath. You may feel, um, hear that, but as long as you're breathing, you're good. The rule of thumb is that the breath is a tool, not a rule. So breathe when you feel you need to, as long as you're breathing, you're good. We'll go two more here. And then you're gonna get, come halfway in, hold it and give me those little pulses. So little last round of pulses. Every time I pulse, I pull up on my pelvic floor, in on my abdominals. We've got four, three, two, and one. Go all the way out one more time and bring it in. Nice work. Let's make a change of our spring. So take it to your medium. For me, that's a blue spring. I'm gonna take my two heavies or my two reds off. So I'm left with one blue spring. Now this time I'm gonna prop myself up on the elbow and I'm gonna be looking to my foot because my foot's gonna leave the foot bar and we're gonna jump. So it's very light. So you wanna kind of test the water. So when you push out, you're gonna add that little hop. Now, if you've never jumped on the foot bar, it's kind of one of those mind-body connections. You've got to kind of stay here. Can't let your mind drift off. And I like to look at my foot to make sure I'm finding that connection each time. I'm pushing off, heel ball the foot. I'm landing ball the foot heel. Good, we won't do too many jumps, but hopefully what you're feeling here is the glute and outer thigh really starting to talk to you a little bit. Good, let's go four more. And three, two, and one. Nice work, come all the way in. Let that leg go under the bar and let it rest on the frame of the carriage. You're going to lay yourself over the arc. Bring your left arm like you're trying to reach it to the foot bar. Your right hand's behind the head. You're going to do a little oblique. So this is your right rib coming to your right hip. So you're going to lift up and reach and then lower it back down. Lift up and reach and lower it back down. Two options for your left leg. It can stay down against the wood. If you want it a little bit more challenging, you can lift it up and push it up into the foot bar. If that does not feel good, keep it down. Either one is gonna work for you. Good, three more, think right rib to hip, release. And two, right rib to hip, and release. Hold this one, last one up for me. Reach your right arm long, and you're gonna pulse left and right. Seven, six, five, four, you've got it. Three, two, and one. Good, little stretch here. Bend your top leg, bring it behind you so it's like on the back side of the wood. Take your whole body and turn it so it's like you're hugging the arc and drop your chest to the arc. And hopefully if you're doing this in a good position, it's heaven. I, it should feel really great. 
I'm kind of even letting my left foot kind of hook on the wood and then I'm using that to give myself a little stretch. So getting a good rotation through the entire body. Enjoy that for one more breath. Or two, or three, and then come all the way up. Okay, let's come off the machine. Before we do the other side, we're going to do some arm work. So you need to pick up your straps. So I'm gonna pick up my straps and then make my way to sitting on the very top of the arc. So what you're gonna do is kind of straddle the arc. Your feet are gonna be on either side of the bottom of the arc, and then you're sitting at the very top. So I'm gonna start with my arms right beside me, shoulders down, abs, and I'm sitting nice and tall. We'll start with circles. So you're gonna circle the arms up and over the head, out to the sides, and back and down. You wanna be able to see those circles in your peripheral vision, so you don't wanna be so far back that you're letting your ribs pop or you're letting your arms open. Really, there's nothing changing in my spine at all. It's just my arms are circling and my shoulder joint. In a moment, we will add some thoracic movement. So there shouldn't be much thoracic movement right now, which is your middle back. Good, let's do that one more time. Big circle up and around. When you get to the bottom, let's reverse it. So go open and then back in the down. So my palms face forward when I go up, my palms face the ceiling when I come back down. Exhaling up and inhaling it back and round. See how tall you can sit. Energy from the crown of the head to the tailbone. Last two. When you're up the next time, I want you to hold it. You can interlace the fingers if that feels better for you, but we're gonna bend your elbows. Think of your elbows pointing forward. So if you can keep those elbows pointing forward, you're gonna feel more work in the tricep. Three. And two. Last one here. Take the arms out to the sides and hold. So we talked about thoracic movement, which is our middle back. We're gonna do that now. So right now I've got a straight line from the crown of the head to my tailbone, a neutral spine. I'm gonna inhale and let my heart open, do a little back bend with my upper back, let the straps pull me a little. And as I exhale, I go back to where my ribs are connected and I'm where I started. So it's very small. I'm just gonna open, take an inhale, let my heart go forward. Exhale, pull the ribs in and come back to where you started. You should not be moving more than a few inches. Inhale, open. Exhale, pull. Use your breath. Last four. Try to isolate it in your thoracic or your middle back. Don't let your lumbar or your low back take over. Mine likes to do all the work. Last two. One more. Good, now keep your spine engaged, so don't let it open up at all. So you're gonna keep the spine stable and move the arms. Bring your fingers together, bring it back out. So not so far that you're moving the spine. This is your little bonus round. Give me four more if you can. Last two here, one more. Nice work, all right. There's no place to put the straps, the arc's in the way, so you can set them back. Let's go to the other side. So I'm gonna slide down into the well, go back to those red, two red springs, too heavy, and take your blue, your medium off, and let's turn around. So you're gonna be on your left side now. And if you remember on the other side, I do have to move my mic a little for this one. I rested my head on my, um, my ear, so I'm gonna do the same thing here. So I'm just let my body kind of drape over the arc. My bottom leg's bent out of the way, my top leg's on the foot bar. I'm gonna start by pushing all the way out and then resisting back in. Inhale as you push, exhale, pull back in. And if this doesn't feel comfortable, you can come to a different body position with the upper body. Maybe rest in on the elbow if that feels better.
Good. We'll do the same thing we did on the other side. Full extensions out, resisting the springs in. Full extension, resisting in. Do one more and then come halfway out and hold. Give me those little one inch pulses, keeping the work right in the belly of the muscle. And one more. Go all the way out, full extension and hold. Lift your heel up and then bend your knee in, keeping the heel lifted and push back away. So it's a nice bend and stretch, keeping your heel lifted in space. And I found myself working too much through the shoulder, so make sure your upper body's relaxed. You're not putting any work in the upper body. You're letting the upper body stay soft, putting that work into the legs. Good. Next time you're out, hold it for a moment. Come halfway in and little tiny pulses here, keeping your energy into all five toes, lifting that heel up. We've got four, three, two, and one. Take it out and hold it. Put your heel back down. Turn your toes to the ceiling. Bend the knee to the ceiling. Squeeze your bottom. Push it away. Bend it to the ceiling and squeeze and push it away. So I don't know if I said, but if you don't have the arc, then you would just be laying on your side with your head on the headrest but hopefully you have an arc. If not, you should get one. I love it. Last two, one more. Take it halfway in and hold and give me little tiny pulses for eight, seven, six, slow and controlled. Two and one. Go all the way out and bring it back in. Okay, we're gonna lower that weight again. This time we're going again to the medium. One blue spring on, two reds off, so you're left with one blue. You're going to lay that down. This is the time I like to prop myself up on my elbow so I can look a little bit more on my foot and see what's happening. So I'm going to do a little, just hop away. So it's just a tiny little jump and hop away. Good. Stay focused on what you're doing here. You want to look at that foot, spot your landing. So I'm landing ball the foot heel. I'm pushing off heel ball the foot. Good, really press, squeezing those leg muscles. The work here is when you jump and your leg is in space, having to use all these outer thigh muscles to hold the leg. Hopefully you're feeling that. We've got four more to go. Last one here. Nice work. Come all the way in. Take your right leg, reach it long on the wood. Take your whole body, drape it over the arc. Your right hand is going to be reaching alongside your right side of the body. Your left hand is on the head by the ear. Use your right rib to hip connection and you're going to squeeze the right rib to the hip and then bring it back down. Squeeze the right rib to the hip, back down. Two options for the right leg. You can keep the right leg down or you can lift the right leg up and just let it touch to the foot bar. If that feels like it's too much, it's like too crampy, doesn't feel good, set it back down. Last four to go. Two more here. Last time I want you to hold it up there. Last little thing. You've got it. Left arm to the tower. Go rotate, or not rotate, just let your ribs glide right, ribs glide left. Six and five and four, three, two, and one. Really good. Let's do that stretch. Bend your right leg. You can see where that right foot's going to hook kind of at the foot bar. I'm gonna take my hands on the wood, rotate my whole body to the, car to the carriage or to the arc and then lay over the arc.
If you need to pause me for like 10 minutes and stay here, I would not blame you. Definitely one of my favorite stretches to twist the spine. It feels nice. But we have got a lot to do, so we are going to go ahead and move on from here so you can unhook your foot, unwind your spine, come up and off the machine. One change we're going to make is take the foot bar down. You don't need the foot bar anymore for right now. So we're going to put that foot bar down. I'm still going to be on that blue spring. Again, you're going to need your straps, so go ahead and reach for your straps. And then this time we're going to sit into the well. So you're going to sit right there in the groove of the arc. So I'm just going to bring myself down to seated. And then I'm going to lay back over the arc. So I'm kind of right at my bra line, so I'm not just resting, I'm still engaged. And I'll show you a few options here. So we're gonna start with reaching the arms forward and back. So notice I'm moving my arms. I'm not moving my spine yet. So this is all about the arms. We're gonna to get to the spine in a moment. Three options for your legs. You can keep your feet on the carriage. This would be the easiest option. You can lift your right leg into tabletop. This is gonna be a little bit more challenging. You can lift both legs into tabletop, and that's going to be even more challenging. We're going to do three more moving the arms, and then we're going to start to move the spine and keep the arms still. So this will be your last one. Now hold the arms still, turn the palms down, so the arms are going to be reaching kind of alongside the legs. Now lower your body a few more vertebrae back over the arc, and then do a big crunch and lift. So I'm lowering back over the arc and squeezing and lifting. Lowering back, squeeze and lift. Three more. And two. One more. Really good job. You can release your feet, release yourself back. And if it feels good for you, take a little stretch over the arc. We're gonna do another exercise, keeping the spine still and moving the arms. So when you're ready, bring yourself all the way back up. You're gonna bring the arms up to that position where, there were, where we were, just were. I'm gonna lift both legs to tabletop. If you can do that, do that. If not, just lift one or keep them down. But you may wanna try it with the legs up if you can. Keep the weight in your left hand. You're gonna let the right arm go slack and look towards the right and then bring it back. Switch the weight in your right hand, let the left arm go slack, look towards the left, and bring it back. So we're just really holding this teaser, and whenever we switch the weight from side to side, our obliques have to kick in, and we feel our abs working even more. If this isn't enough and you want more, we're gonna add the leg on the next one. So when you go to the right, you can extend your left leg and bring it in, and when you go to the left, you can extend your right leg and bring it in. So you're just adding a little bit more length through the legs, longer lever, harder work. Last four, do what you can. You've got three and two and one. Really good job, release the feet, let yourself lay over the arc. So from here, we're gonna go into the full teaser, which I love on the arc. It gives you a lot of support and it's quite a bit, uh, not, it's not easy at all, but it's a little bit um, easier with the arc than with the box. So your legs are going to be long over the wood. You've got your arms reaching long to either side of the room. So the first thing you'll do is nod your chin, look towards your belly. Now put the weight in your arms, pull your arms to your knees and lift up into your teaser and then lower everything back down. Let's do that again. So you nod the chin, push into the arms, pull the arms towards the knees, lift the legs to teaser, and then lower back down. For more challenge, the legs are gonna go straight. So nod the chin, lift the legs, reach the arms long, and lower everything back down. For less challenge, your knees are gonna be bent, and the feet are gonna be on the carriage, and you're just gonna be lifting up and down through that upper body. And for even less care, um, work, don't go far back. Just go a little bit back and keep the head forward. So a lot of options. Wherever you are, I want you to do one more. I'm gonna do one more full teaser. And then you can release everything down. 
you can let the straps go into the well and work your way all the way up and come off the arc. Okay, we're gonna lay on our stomach on the arc facing your tower. So I've got, based on your body length, I've got kind of my rib cage on the top of the arc, I've got my thighs resting on the lip of the arc, and I'm gonna reach forward and grab my tape with my hands. So bring the arms to the outside of the wood, let your whole body rest over the arc. You can think about letting the whole body just come into this nice flexed position, letting the arc support you. Now pushing your pubic bone into the arc, pulling your abs in, you're gonna take an inhale, and then as you exhale, you're gonna lift your head, neck, and shoulders, pull the hands right beside you and come into a little back extension. Inhale and release yourself all the way back. So nice big exhale as you reach the arms, lengthen all the way forward with the sternum, and then exhale yourself back down. Exhaling as you lift, and inhale as you lower. Just find a comfortable position. If you need to make an adjustment on the arc and move forward or back, you can. You wanna find a place where you feel the most comfortable. You feel like you can get the best flexion and extension of the spine and you feel your legs supported. Good, we're gonna do that two more times. So you exhale as you press. Inhale as you release. Now the next time you're back, I want you to hold it Keep your chest lifted, keep that extension through the spine and go into a tricep. So bend your arms and straighten your arms. Good, keep pressing the sternum forward. Legs are active, but your focus here is on the upper back, the extension of the spine and the back of the arms. Good, last two to go. One more, keep the arms long, open them out to the horizon, squeeze and pull them back to the hips. Seven more, open out, squeeze and pull back. Here's four and three, two. Good, last one here, pull it all the way to the hips and then lower everything down. Let your straps go into the well and let your body rest over the arc. Take a few deep breaths here. When you're ready, we're gonna walk our hands up the wood, grab onto the tower. If you've got the tower, if not, grab onto the pegs or the um, stands here. So you're going to lift into a little bit of extension, but not as much as before and do an, a pull up. So you're gonna bend your arms and straighten your arms. Two options for your legs. You can keep both legs firmly relaxed or firmly grounded into the carriage or into the arc, excuse me. Or for more challenge, you can lift the right leg up. And then the next time you can lift the left leg up. So you're just gonna alternate one leg lifting, little glute squeeze, and then the other leg lifting, little glute squeeze. Good, we'll do four more double arms. Last two here. And one more. Now lift the right leg, hold the right leg, let go of the right arm, place it on the arc, and you're gonna pull with just the left arm. So you've got your right leg lifted and you're pulling with your left arm. If it's too much to keep the left or the right leg lifted, just drop it back down. Good, we'll do two more of these nice big pulls, and then we're gonna switch sides. So the next time the arms are straight, take your right arm onto the tower, release your right leg, lift your left leg, take your left hand to the arc, and we'll just start pulling with the right arm. Good, last four to go. And last one. Nice job, set both feet down, hold back with both hands, 
and then just let gravity give you a little stretch. Just release over the arc, let your head, neck, and shoulders release. Because we got some planks coming up. When you're ready, walk yourself back. You're gonna kind of prop yourself up on the arc, slide your knees to the carriage, put your feet onto the wood. You are still on that blue spring. We're gonna drop down to our elbows at the very top of the arc. From here, you're gonna push out with one leg if that feels good for you, and then lift the other leg. The second option to come out of, into a plank is just to lift both knees and push on out. So push your heels back, pull your abs in, draw your sternum forward. We're gonna start by moving the elbows out an inch and in an inch. I do love the arc here because your elbows are a little bit more elevated than your feet. So it does take the tension out of your neck if you tend to get tension in your neck when you're planking. We're gonna do two more here. And then we'll hold the elbows still move from the knees. Pull the knees to the arc, pull it back out. Knees in, push and press out. You've got four and three and two and one. Come home and set the knees down. You can push into a little child's pose and give yourself a break. We're gonna do one more set of planks with a little oblique focus. When you're ready, back into your plank. So we'll come up to the plank just like we did, one leg at a time or both legs out. Turn your toes to the right, put a little more weight in your left elbow and then bend your knees in and push it out. Good, four more to go. Good, this is your last one. If you need a rest, take a rest. If not, you're gonna turn all the way to the left and go eight more times on the left. Here's four and three and two and one. Turn the toes back to the center, let the knees come in, rest the knees and then push back into child's pose. Really good job. Bring yourself up. Now I know we've been doing a lot of arm work so let's get into a little bit more legs. So I want you to bring your foot bar up you're gonna to come to a red and blue spring. Now you're gonna stand on the carriage. Your right foot is gonna go on the gray surface with your shin against the foot bar, and then your left foot's gonna go against the arc. And we're gonna start pushing that left leg out to push the carriage out. So I've got my hands in the foot bar. I have extremely large feet, so I have like 11. So my foot does not fit too well, but I'm gonna have the ball of my foot on because that's where I feel most stable. If you feel most stable with the heel on, you can do that. Just stand on whatever part of the foot you can that feels good for you. If you feel more stable holding on, you can keep holding on. If you want a little bit more challenge, you're gonna take the hands to the hips and bring yourself on up. Get that full extension pushing back and forward so four three two we're going to hold this next one back bend the right knee and straighten the right knee bend and straighten good last two and one. Nice job. Bring the hands down. Step your right foot into the middle of the arc. Bring the left foot to meet it. So it's like you're this high half toe, letting the heels be towards the side of the arc and the toes on the bottom of the arc. And we're going to take the red off. So you're at a blue spring. You're in this nice round position. You're going to press the hips back. Find your plank, dropping the hips down, lifting the sternum forward. 
and then pulling yourself back into the pike. So we're going to alternate between a plank and a pike. I know I said leg work, but I can never resist a little transition with the abs. We will do the other side of the legs in a moment. After this little brief ab in intermission. Two more to go, pressing out and in. Good. And then you'll step yourself off the arc. Put that red spring back on, so you're one red, one blue. Your left foot's going to go on the gray surface, shin against the foot bar. Your right foot's going to go up against the arc, and you're going to push out and in. Pressing out and in. If you need to, you're going to stay right where you are, keeping the hands down on the foot bar. If you feel stable and you feel comfortable, lift your chest. Take the hands to the hips or to the heart. Only do what you feel good with. If it does not feel comfortable to come up, please don't do it. Keep your hands down. You want to feel stable. Last four, three. Now I'm going to keep my right leg back, bend my left leg in and out. I'm taking it down and up with the left leg. Now I do have my shin against the foot bar. That's giving me a lot of support. Last four and three, two and one. Come home, take the hands down. Take your feet back wide so you can take your red off. You've got one blue on. Take your feet back into the arc. Turn your toes to the right. You're going to push the carriage out into a plank. Scoop and pull in from the deep low abdominals. Inhaling out. Exhaling in. Last two to go. One more. Come up and let's transition. Turn the toes to the left. Drop the hips into your plank. Scoop and pull it back in. Four more. And last one. Really good job. All right, step yourself down. Let's come off the machine. And we're going to make a change for this arc. Let's turn it around. And when we turn it around, you're going to have it against the shoulder blocks. Now we can grab our straps because we can put it back on the pegs. And if there's something I like more than abs, well, there's probably nothing I like more than abs, but as much as abs, a little less than abs would be back. So I'm going to make my change. I should have done this first. We're going to go to one red spring. So one red spring on, one blue spring off. So you have one red spring. Take your foot bar and place it all the way in the down position. And we're going to go back to some back work. So I want you to have a seat in this arc again. I'm going to make sure it's nice and square. Feet on the headrest. Grab onto your loops. Again, roll back to where you're supported, but not relaxing. You're still working and engaged. Palms face in towards your legs. We're going to open the arms out to a T and close. So again, we're in, working towards that teaser variation. So you have a few options. You can keep both feet down onto the headrest. You can lift your right leg to tabletop, or you can lift both legs to tabletop. If you're having your right leg lifted, just remember which one's up because on the next set, we'll be lifting the opposite if you've chosen a single leg variation. You've got two more to go and then we're going to do a little pause. Next time the arms are wide, hold it for five, four, three, two, one. Ooh, go ahead and release. Put the feet down. 
You're going to lay over the arc, do a bicep curl, reach the arms in line with your ears as you lay back as much as comfortable, circle the arms, and bring yourself back to where you started. The feet will definitely be down for this one. So it's a bicep curl, lean back, overhead press, big circle out and around. Bicep curl, reach and press. This is kind of our little stretch between our two different exercises we're doing. Three more to go. And two. And one. Nice work. Come back up, second exercise. So you, again, you can have your feet down, you can have your left leg in tabletop, or you can have both legs in tabletop. This time the right arm's gonna go down to a V and the left arm's gonna go up. So you're doing a diagonal, one arm down, one arm up. Good, choose the position. If you choose the wrong position, you can always make another choice. If it gets too hard, you can bring the feet down. If it's too easy, you can bring them up. You're in charge here. Do what you can. Last one on each side. Last little bonus round. Both arms are going to go straight back, and you're going to hold. Don't let the carriage move and go side to center with the arm. Side to center. One. Well, that would be too many if we did one. One more to each side here. I want to do three sets to each side. Come back to the center. Let the legs go. Let your straps go. Again, you can lay yourself over the arc if that feels appropriate. If not, lift your hips, slide them to the very top of the arc, and then lay back where your head can be supported. Take a little recovery breath. So we did all that work on one red spring. Let's see what happens if we go to a yellow. So I want you to come up and off. Same exercise, but I want you to take it to the lowest spring you have for me. The lightest spring I have is a yellow, so that's my very light spring. And I'm going to take the red off. So I have one yellow spring on. And I came up with this one day. I was thinking, I wonder what would happen if I just put the springs really low. And it was like abdominal magic. So here we go. You've got your right hand has the strap. You're going to lean back into the arc. You're going to have your arms forward. The right arm's going to go up to the ceiling as the left arm goes down. Then the right arm's going to go out to a T as the left arm mirrors it. And then the right arm's going to go down as the left arm comes up. And you're just going to keep doing that pattern. So the arms are alternating. Right goes up, left goes down. Both arms go out to a T. And then the right arm goes down, left arm up. We've got two more sets. Now, if you want it harder, lift one leg. If you want it super duper hard, lift both legs. Sh shaking is not optional for me. It's mandatory. It's happening. Last one, or last set. And then you can bring everything down and we'll release. Awesome. We have one more side to go. So left hand in the strap. Again, you have the choice of both legs down, right leg lifted, both legs lifted, your choice. We're going to start with the left arm going up, right arm going down, both arms mirroring each other out to the T, left arm up, right arm down. That was one set. You've got three more to go. Left arm up, right arm down. Keep your shoulders relaxed. Again, if it's too much, you keep the feet down. If it's too much, you put the right arm down and you hold. You can hold the carriage. This is not easy. This is three. You've made it. One more set. Left arm up, right arm down. Both arms out to a T. Left arm down, right arm up. And release. Put that strap up. And you are done with the arc. Okay. So I'm going to take the arc. I like to store it right here on the wall. So it's like my arc slash wall art. And then we're going to put our foot bar up. Now, even though I do love the arc, um, we don't do a lot of um, 
feet and straps on the arc. So I'm going to do that laying down. So I want you to put on one red, one blue. So a heavy and a medium. And then we're going to lay all the way down and finish here for today with our feet and straps because it would not be a complete day if you did not put your feet in straps. So push all the way out. You can put the feet into the loops. Come into a little V position, heels together, toes apart. Knees about the width of the carriage, tailbone nice and heavy. Push the legs all the way long, squeeze the legs together. Resist and peel them apart. Big exhale as you push, inhale apart. Now, if you're a teacher and you're wanting to teach this arc class, um, I used to teach a class where I would just teach all arc and I'll just kind of give you my feedback that you will have people who love the arc and you will have people who hate the arc. So what I found so of that optimal happiness in my class and trying to please as many people as possible, I found that if I can sprinkle the arc in here and there, everyone's a little happier. So especially if you've got someone with kyphosis, if their shoulders are round, um, the arc does not feel good. If you have a hard time back bending and extending your spine, it is definitely not the most comfortable piece of equipment. So just if you're planning on using some of those exercises and teaching, I would just start by sprinkling some of them in and not all of them at once. And hopefully they'll enjoy it more then. Do that one more time. Keep the legs straight, bring your big toes to touch so you're parallel, and then lift the legs, bring the legs down. We're gonna circle out and around and all the way back up. Good. Let's do three more in this direction. I'm working on keeping my tailbone grounded and just stretching through my legs. The next time the legs are down, you're gonna stop and reverse the direction. So you're gonna come up together, open wide, go down apart, and then come back up the midline together. We've got three more to go. And then you're going to pull the knees in. Give your knees a little hug. Then I'm going to take my legs straight up to the ceiling. Maybe pull the straps. Give my hamstrings a little stretch. Let the knees go on the width of the rib cage. So I'm like trying to take my knees and bring them to my ribs. You can take your hands and push into the tops of your feet for what's called happy baby in yoga. And you can rock side to side. And then one more time in the center. Bring the soles of the feet together. You can come into a low, um, all I can think of is Supta Baddha Konasana. That's um, the yoga term. So you bring your soles together and your soles of your feet together and knees wide. I'll hopefully think of the term in a second. Or not. And if this doesn't feel good, you can always have the, it's butterfly pose. There it is. So you can either have your feet together right above your body, or you can have your feet together at the base of your spine for your butterfly or reclining butterfly. And then we'll go ahead and take the feet out of the straps. Bring your carriage home, roll yourself all the way off. And you guys are done. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you like the arc. If you've got any other comments, suggestions, please 
let me know. And if not, I hope to see you soon. Have a great day.